Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have four Easter and spring nail stamping designs to show you. If you haven't checked out my last video where I did six spring and Easter freehand nail designs, be sure to check that video out after you watch this one. So I'm gonna start off like I did in my last video with the exact same gradient. So I have a blue, a yellow, and an orange to create a sunset manicure on my nails. And for this design, I use my Creative Shop nail stamping plate. I'll have that listed below. So I'm just using a cosmetic sponge that is slightly damp and I painted the three colors on it. And I'm just going to continue to tap the sponge on my nail until I like the opacity of the gradient. After I do the gradient, I'm going to apply a top coat to kind of blend all the colors. So I'm using this stamping plate by Creative Shop. And it's a really nice Christian stamping plate. It has everything Jesus on here. It has Christian sayings, it has crosses, and the manger, and the crucifixion, just all, all things Jesus on this plate. So I've never used this plate before, so I'm just removing the blue film. And I'm gonna be using this layered stamp and I really like this plate because it has a lot of layered stamping designs on here so I'm gonna be starting off with the background of this tomb and this is the tomb they placed Jesus in after he died and on the third day he resurrected so the stone was rolled away so that's just what this design is and it's a layered design so I'm doing the background then the front of the tomb and then just the stone. I use black for the details of the tomb and then I use this holographic gold stamping polish for the stone. For the next nail, I'm going to be stamping He is Risen. And I had a lot of trouble stamping this design. Like, I must have picked it up like a million times. But I finally got it. And then for my index finger, I'm just going to put this picture of the cross. So it represents Jesus being on the cross, being laid in the tomb, and then the saying, he is risen three days later. So next is this Easter egg design. And I did the background using Sharpies. These are off-brand Sharpies, so maybe it would have worked a little bit better with actual Sharpies, but it worked out pretty well. So I painted my nails white and applied a glossy top coat and let that dry completely. Now I'm taking my Sharpies and just 
drawing on my nail. And I'm just repeating that on the other nail. I'm just drawing the Sharpie on the nail in different locations. And I kind of had trouble with this pink. The pink didn't show up as well as I wanted it to. Now I'm taking this nail art brush and dipping it in rubbing alcohol. And I'm just applying it on top of this Sharpie to create kind of this watercolor effect. I don't want to use too much alcohol because it will take up all the Sharpie. And again, you can see the problem I had with the pink. It kind of disappeared after I applied the alcohol. But the other colors did too well. And I'm trying to not blend it too much to where it completely goes away. But I ended up applying like a second layer after I let this dry. I applied a little bit more Sharpie. And just continued to work with it until I got a design I liked. So next I'm going to be using this nail stamping plate by Mora. It's their Primavera plate. This is a really pretty spring plate. It has St. Patrick's Day nail designs, Easter nail designs, florals, everything spring, which is why it's called Primavera. So I'm using this Easter egg stamp. And I'm just gonna stamp that over my background. I'm using Maniology's white stamping polish. And if you're interested in getting anything from Maniology, I do have a 10% off code that will be linked in the description box. So be sure to check out their website for all things stamping. So now I'm just taking a nail art brush and removing the excess polish I got on my nail. This would be a lot easier if I had my liquid latex, but I ran out. So I wanted to leave this like this, but after I applied my top coat, the white pretty much disappeared and you can't see it for the background. So I just decided to take these little eggs stamped in black that say Happy Easter and I just stamped that over the nail. Next is this cute little chicken stamp. So I just painted my nails white and applied a top coat. Now I'm taking a large dotting tool and creating just random round circles all over the nails. Now I'm taking these cute little chickens and a black stamping polish and I'm going to try to center the chickens over the yellow circles as best as I can. They're not going to line up exactly, but that's okay. And that's the finished design. So for this la last design, I'm taking another Creative Shop layered stamping plate. And it has fruit, vegetables, and animals on it. It's a cute farm stamping plate. So I'm taking this farm post looking design and I'm stamping that on all of my nails. So I'm just going to stamp the bunny rabbits, the chickens, and some carrots on top of the purple fence post.
and that is all my nail stamping designs for spring and Easter 2020. So be sure to like this video if you liked it, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments which nail design was your favorite. I'll see you soon. Bye.